folks, it's Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and Kayak, and this is Jillian Conrad and Matt Steffler. These are the true folks that are running the manufacturing up here in South River that are creating all these beautiful boats for you. We wanted to give you a quick update of where we're at with COVID right now. We're very fortunate. We've been able to stay on top of things. We're still be building beautiful boats. We're following COVID protocols. We've been able to keep the materials coming in. Let's start out with Jillian. She, she really runs this place. Jillian, how long have you been working here? Why are you working for Swift? Uh, well, I started working for Swift when I was 17. I started off in the kayak assembly department and just slowly worked my way up to manager. It's been a great place to work. A lot because of I have a great boss too. <laughs> um, I work here because, well, f for one, it's probably the most Canadian job you can have, which is nice. Uh, but it's really good to be involved in something that's cutting edge and we're always doing something different. Every day is a different day and that makes it really exciting. And Jillian, when you started here, there was like 10, 12 people and tell the folks now, how many people are working here now and what are we all about? Yeah, when I first started, it wasn't a very big crew at all. Uh, now we have 45 employees with two new people starting tomorrow to make it 47. Um, and we're just continually trying to grow our staff, trying to find a really good crew to keep it going so we can keep building really nice boats. So this is Matt Steffler and he runs the day-to-day -day operations on the floor. Last year, we were building five, six beautiful resin-infused boats a day. We're doing 11 now during COVID. We are going up to 12 in about a week or so. Matt, how are we doing this and what's going on? Uh, mainly, we're doing this with just an awesome crew of people. Like, uh, if it weren't for our crew, we, we, we can't uh, do it all ourselves. So it, it's amazing to see everyone come together and build these amazing boats every day. Uh, we've got some interesting challenges every day, but uh, we always overcome them and we, we find a way to just keep producing these amazing boats. So let's go show the folks the addition and part of the reason why we've been able to keep up such good social distancing and COVID protocols here and what's in store for the future. So folks, this is it. This is a big part of how we've been able to achieve very good COVID protocols. We are in the midst of putting on a 50 by 170 foot addition on our factory. Much of it's gonna eventually end up having two floors. And Matt, this is so cool. How has it really helped out the manufacturing in the short term now? Oh man, having just some extra space, even though we haven't moved in here officially yet, just being able to move all of our molds out into the addition and have some extra storage out of the weather has just been amazing and has opened up new areas on the factory floor that are just uh, helping us streamline getting these boats out to our customers. Now, one of the things I know from some of our competitors have really suffered from this, and I've heard a lot about this, Many people are having a hard time getting raw materials in. And I know that, that you guys are ordering things in bigger bulk and we've got space now. Like there's lots of foam core, there's lots of cloth in here, there's resin. Yep. That must be amazing for you. Yeah, the key to moving forward for Swift is uh, we just want to make sure that we have the products that we need in stock to make sure that we can make the products for our customers. So. We're going to keep making sure that uh, we can continue moving forward like that. Uh, we definitely don't want to stop in production. So, so it, right now, folks, you see these are all production molds in here. These used to occupy a good amount of space in what we call the mold room, which now we've been able to convert into production space, and we're using it to infuse halls now also. And Next year, once we're fully set up this fall, we're putting in a second floor here to move our small parts into. It's going to really allow us to increase production and really flow with where the market's taking us. So let's show the folks 
what's happening up front here. And Jillian, this is gonna be your new home, so you know a lot about this, and this is super, super cool. So let's tell the folks what's happening here. Uh, so down on this side is gonna be our new factory office area, which right now we have very small facilities for the offices, so I believe this is 30 by 25. And on this side, we're gonna have a factory showroom, which will be really great so that we can showcase all of our products, to people that come by to visit the factory. Um, upstairs uh, is gonna be uh, break facilities for all of our employees here with us growing, now having 45. We definitely need more space for them. So new washrooms, new break room, locker room, vending machines, all that good stuff. This is so cool. Yeah. So the service area, we get a lot of people going into access point one in the park. Absolutely. Heading up towards North mm -hmm. T that want to get parts. Yep. Seats, yokes, whatever. This showroom's going to be packed with that and it's going to be a service area for repairs coming in. So something that I'm very excited about guys, folks, and we invested extra in doing this. We've got an in-floor heating system here and I'm gonna get Matt to tell you a little bit about it. So, Matt, tell us about the really cool floor heating system we have. Yeah, so this is our in-floor radiant heating system. This is uh, one of the heating manifolds. So as you can see, the, the piping's going into the concrete where the hot water is pumped through the floor and it just radiates up into the rest of the facility. Uh, we chose to go through with this for uh, efficiency. Uh, so it's a little more expensive at the start, but it's going to be much more energy efficient and it's just going to be great for our employees to work in here and it's going to be great to cure up these brand new canoes. So folks, we want you to know that we are doing everything we can now. Matt and Jillian, we're building incredible boats, the by far the best boats we've built in the history of the company. We're keeping up with our production schedule despite COVID going on. If anything, we have an issue with at our end, at the sales end, we need to ship the boats more efficiently, but we're working on that. So we're building beautiful boats. We're following proper COVID protocols. So if everyone's patient, we're gonna work through this pandemic. And these guys are helping create all these beautiful boats that people get to go out and they get to social distance from and enjoy nature. And folks, the future for us with this great big facility is awesome. So thank you, Jillian. No thank you, Matt. No You're problem. making a lot of people happy. And let's go swift. <laughs>